Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. This could be considered a WTF Hot or Not, if you will, because everything here is a very pricey, expensive luxury we are playing with, well not playing with, I've already played with, Burberry makeup. And I have formed Hot or Not opinions. I have been playing with a few pieces from the line for a couple of years now. And then I recently wanted to try a bunch more so that I could bring you a brand overview because I wanna do that more and more for you guys. I have a few that I love worth every penny that I'm really excited about. And then I have a few items that I'm like, what in the world? Let's not ever buy this again. Let's not recommend it to a friend. It's just not good. So we will start with the good. Let's start with a little good. So I wanna share with you guys how like beaten up and really well loved these two eyeshadows are. I have number five, Chestnut, and I have number six, Almond. Now I love these in the crease. Something that is really special about Burberry eyeshadow is its blendability. It reminds me a lot of Tom Ford. It's just a quality, finely milled, effortless eyeshadow that really requires no skill. I love that when an eyeshadow is literally like boom, 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 and then you could literally be like, hmm, perfection. Um, this is, these matte shadows that you can just throw in the crease are some of my favorites. If you can afford to splurge on that and you need a great crease color, either one of these are fantastic. Because of that, I decided to go and pick up something that wasn't matte that I could place all over the lid. This is the shade Nude. It is number two, and this is a wet or dry glow eyeshadow. I have used it both ways. And I am actually wearing this all over the lid today. So if you like the kind of subtle shimmer, it is more of a glow than a shimmer or metallic, then you might think this is worth the splurge. For me, I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I have others from the drugstore that work just as well. So the hefty price tag on this for the shimmer is just not worth it. The actual case is beautiful. You get a very nice mirror so you can touch up easy on the go without being like, oh my gosh, I need to pull out another compact. So everything about this does feel very solid and luxury, but I would stick with the matte shadows versus the shimmers just because you can find a great shimmer like that at the drugstore very easily. Because I really loved the way the matte eyeshadows are so effortless and blend out beautifully in the crease. I was really curious to try a bronzer. So I picked up the number one warm glow. I believe they have three different shades. I got the lightest because I am trying to train myself to actually use bronzer that is appropriate for my very fair skin during this time of year instead of like dunking my brush in like a really dark I would like to be tan like that type of a color because that can look very muddy. If you have fair skin, go with a lighter bronzer. It might look like this is not gonna get the job done, but it will, trust me, it will. So this is a beautiful bronzer. I will continue using this, oh my goodness. The way that it glides on the skin, the way that it blends, it looks very, very natural and even more so like just in person super close up you can't see any of that patchiness muddiness it's just a beautiful bronzer and it is matte i also picked up a blush these are expensive so i only picked up one i wanted more than one um let me share with you the bronzer i probably could have done just a standalone wtf because the bronzer was 52 and then this blush is 42. This is the shade Cameo, it's number two. These are made in Italy. Again, just the texture and the way that it has a little bit of a glow. It's like this luminosity, but there is no detectable shimmer in it whatsoever. I love that so much because it just looks like everything is hydrated, baby smooth, just really, really healthy. It enhances the way your skin looks. So this blush is definitely a winner. I am wearing it right now and loving it. I've been loving using this blush. I want to say I never use these little brushes in here. I just really, even though this one is quite nice, like it's soft, but no, I don't use it. So uh, and you get a giant mirror in here as well. So the face products are really beautiful as far as powder is concerned. There was a fail item that I think is way, way, whoa, whoa, way overpriced. So this is $37 right here. This is the Burberry Contour Stick. It's very slim and thin. This is, I'm gonna twist it up all the way so you guys can see that's how much product, you, oh man, why'd I do that? Let me break it. 
you don't get a ton of product in there. That's my point. Where's my Smashbox one that I use all the time? The Smashbox one, you get more than double the amount of actual product. This is 0.12 ounces, 3.5 grams, whereas this one is 1.6 grams. So, and you get three in the kit for less money with the Smashbox. And this one I use all the freaking time and it blends like a dream and it is not blotchy splotchy or anything. This one was just too wet and like kind of, do you see how it blends and it's a little bit patchy and splotchy? Whereas this one over here blends out and almost has a bit of a powdery finish and is just gorgeous on the skin. I use it all the time, cheekbones, nose, around the lips. It's a beautiful, beautiful contour stick. This one just wasn't, I was really, really disappointed. So I would pass on this. And then I did try out the mascara because I always have to. Mascara is a must have item for me. And I think for most women when you're shopping and you're thinking about splurging, for some reason we think of like lipstick and mascara, like that just seems like a nice splurge thing to do because even if you're minimal, those might be two things that you do on an everyday basis. This mascara has a beautiful wand it has a nice slanted tip. It goes kind of in that acorn type shape where you can get in those inner corners really easily. It is beautiful, but it did not pump up my lashes the way that I need them to be pumped up. This is nowhere near my Dior show or Chantecaille or even some of my favorites from the drugstore. So this one I was not that wowed by. This is $29. It looks nice on the lower lash. I'm wearing it today on the lower lash and you can build it up and it flakes a little bit, but it doesn't smudge. That being said, I'm not gonna spend $29 on something that I'm just kind of so-so on, especially with mascara. So for me, this was a pass, not hot. I also purchased one of their glosses just because I was super curious. This is the shade Nude Beige. This is the Kisses Gloss. It's supposed to be super shiny and I like it, but I just, there's something about it that I don't love love i'm wearing it right now it is 29 dollars. this one does not have a detectable scent did i just really hit my nose with that oh my god i'm so that girl that will like smell a shampoo or something and like squirt the thing in my face in public okay so this gloss is beautiful but again i feel like i have so many favorites that are super affordable right now that something has to really just like grab me and wow me and for 29 dollars it's just not wowing me. So it's nice, but it's not fantastic. Um, moving on from there, I do want to point out that in a previous products I regret purchasing video, I did mention a Burberry lipstick that I have gotten rid of, so I don't have it to hold and share with you guys. But the reason I didn't like that one was not because of the feeling or the color. It was the scent. It was like this overpowering floral scent where every time I would like move my lips, lick my lips, I would just taste chemical floraliness and I cannot handle that. I just, I can't. So when I was looking at the lipsticks, I just remembered that and I'm like, nope, we're not even gonna try. We're not gonna go there. They're so scented that I just do not even want to go down that lane again, wasting my money. But the glosses don't have any scent. So keep that in mind if you're curious to try them. They are nice, but not worth money in my opinion. Let me know, is there another collection counter you know, if you want more than just a first impressions on a higher end item, if you want me to do like the spring launch for YSL or Chanel or whatever, let me know and we can do that and I can give you an overview and swatches and wouldn't it be so fun? Okay, <laughs> I'm getting carried away here, but I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I'm sending you so much love. Thanks for hanging out as always and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.